In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We place our trust in Christ Jesus, who gave his life for our sins. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, all your work is done in faithfulness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, all the earth is full of your love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we place our hope in you, who are your help and shield. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, you, we glorify you. you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and save your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see light in fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, you do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, we can. Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized, but to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said to them, you know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles, Lord it over them and their great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, we are joyfully, we are joyful today as we join the whole church to celebrate the 29th Sunday of Ordinary Time, as we join together to celebrate the Holy Eucharist in this televised Holy Mass. Each one of us knows of our limitations which have prevented us to physically attend to our local churches as we used to. We offer our pains and limitations to God himself who knows and loves us even before we were conceived in our mother's wombs. It is very interesting to see the ambition of the two brothers, James and John, in today's gospel. Jointly, they come to Jesus to request a favor from him as they say, grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right and the other at your left. The two are thinking of acquiring the positions of power and dominance in this world. Previous to this passage, Jesus shares with his disciples the third prediction of his passion. Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles who will mock him, spit upon him, scourge him, and put him to death. But after three days, he will rise. Jesus' glory does not dwell in worldly scales of power and dominance. Rather, it is accepting the, do the doing of his Father's will and render service to his brothers and sisters. 
He tells his disciples, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to save and to give his life as a ransom to many. Jesus is turning upside down the worldly understanding of glory and success. It is not about climbing the ladder and gets to the top of, hi of the hierarchy. The kingdom of God is built by service and sacrifices of those who believe in him. When we serve others, when we offer our affliction for the glory of God, that translates into the erection of the God's kingdom. That's why Jesus is not ashamed to announce and defend his passion since his suffering and death is the price of the redemption of his sisters and brothers who live in darkness and bondage of sin. As we carry our daily pains, limitations, sufferings, and losses of all kinds, let's raise our eyes into Christ who offered himself on the cross for the salvation of many. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for salvation, he came down from heaven. My Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified at the size of power. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. To Jesus Christ, the High Priest who makes intercession for us, we now offer our prayers. That our church may be formed by the Spirit into a community of faithful disciples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the teaching and example of the church's bishops, priests, and deacons, we may come to know the will of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the leaders and rulers of nations may govern their people with justice, understanding, and a commitment to the common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are forced to drink from the cup of persecution may persevere in faith to experience one day the victory of Christ's resurrection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, the suffering, and the dying may receive healing from the hand of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the souls of those who have died may share in the glory of the reign of the risen Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, grant us the courage and the perseverance to be worthy disciples of your Son. Hear these prayers we offer through Christ our Lord.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of the compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your sins upon them like the new soul, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in your days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. The power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ who say to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive it. But I say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.